what is up? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hey, what is up? My name is Jana and I make videos to help you navigate the world of wigs and hair extensions because life is too short to have boring hair. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the Halo hair extensions and I'm going to show you these from Luxie and by the way, look at this packaging. It's so cute. They added the little gold rim around so it's like a halo. I get it. Super cute. And can we just talk about my background? So this is a new background. I'm trying out, you know, like the whole pink on pink thing. So these are fake palm trees and I spray painted them pink. You can still kind of see a little bit of the green. So I'm going to do another coat, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. I feel like it's such a vibe. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into these. So I've been wanting to try this halo style hair extension before. All right, so this is what it looks like. It basically hangs on your head with this little fishing wire. <laughs> and then the hair looks like this. And then there are two clips on the inside. And it also comes with these side clips as well. So two, two clippers that can clip on the sides of your hair to help blend the halo. Okay, I've never tried anything like this before. I feel like maybe I've tried it in a store a while ago, like a few years ago or something. I have my doubts. I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but we're gonna see and I'm gonna try it on for you guys so we can like experience this together. And I also wanted to show you what else it came with. It comes with more, so it comes with two extra clips. So if you wanna like replace one of the clips or something if it falls off. And it comes with a bunch of the little strings but it does come with a bunch of different sizes, so I guess you can fit it to your specific head size, which I didn't even think of that you might have to adjust it depending on how big your head is or how small it is. You have sizes from extra, extra small to extra, extra large. I don't even know what size we're going to... I'm going to try the one that it comes on the extensions, but I don't even know which one would be my size. So... Let's go ahead and try this one on and see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna start sectioning off my hair how I feel like you're supposed to. So I'm gonna start kind of like in the middle of the top of my head, go down to my ear, and then go around the back. All right, I sectioned off this part at the top. So this is what I have going on right now. So now I'm gonna undo these clips. And then I'm just going to plop this on my head, I guess. Okay, hold on. Ah! It unhooked. Yeah, so these hook on, by the way. I don't know if you caught on to that. So it just has like a little hooky thing and it came off. Okay, so let me just hook this back on. Do not worry, we are still in business. I don't know, I feel like this is supposed to be easy, but I feel like it's not easy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm putting this here. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna clip this into place. Is it looking like a mess? I'm not sure. You guys, I feel like I'm not gonna like this. Okay, I'm putting my hair back down. Mm, you guys. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna give this a shot. So we're gonna go like this. Try to cover up that fishing wire. <laughs> Ew, you guys, okay. All right, let me like whip my hair around and see if it slides out. So it's not actually going anywhere, even if I go like this. <laughs> so it does stay and the clips in the back do help and this string is actually pretty comfortable. So as far as that, like comfortability, it's actually not too bad. I feel like it's something you have to get used to, but it didn't fall out and it does, yeah, it does feel pretty nice actually. It doesn't, because you know when you have clip-in extensions and you, you can feel all the clips in your hair, you don't really get that sensation with this. It actually feels pretty pretty like minimal, like you don't really feel too much on your head, which is actually kind of nice. So I feel like they are, it is pretty comfortable. Like once you kind of get used to it, I feel like it would be comfortable. Putting it on was a little bit weird. I don't even know if I like had the right technique or the right 
placement, but this does feel decent. Now let's try to blend in these little side pieces. And brush it into place. Here we go. This is what it looks like. So you can totally see <laughs> where my hair stops. So I think it's safe to say that these are not really going to work for me. These are definitely for someone with already thicker and longer hair and you just want to add more thickness and length. I feel like that's what the halo is more targeted towards. So someone with like thin hair like me, I think stay with the clip-in extensions because then you have more control about the, the placement and definitely get a better blend. But if you have longer hair, it doesn't even necessarily have to be that much thicker, but I think definitely longer and a little bit thicker to cover up the the side, the bulkiness of the side, and then blend the length in, then the halo would definitely, could definitely work for you. So if you wanna go the clip and hair extension route, I'll leave a playlist right here with all my clip and hair extension videos. So videos on the different types of clip and hair extensions, how to blend them with your hair and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next video over there. Thanks for watching, bye.